Okay, today we're gonna start working on the on the on the on the pointy end of the boat and uh, make it look prettier, more modern. And Roxana has has drilled a bunch of holes here very very expertly <laughs> in a piece of plywood. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> screw this onto the boat and try to make some lines and make it uh, yeah guess what it's gonna look like so we don't make any mistakes when we finally cut stuff off yeah <laughs> that's the plan okay uh, we have an idea for the front of the boat we want to make it pointier and uh, yeah this is gonna look like a wave piercing bow, but it may not, may or may not be efficient as one. I mean, technically the water line is below the bow and it will only be waves that it's gonna be cutting, which may or may not be the best thing for a wave piercing bow, I don't know. It's gonna look smart though. It's gonna look really nice. And uh, that is important. This, this is a bit of a problem. I need to have the center of this a little bit more outboard. And that is hard to do when you extend this far. So if we extend only this far by moving this whole profile in, we make that problem a little bit smaller and we'll then have to cut off a little bit on the top here which is fine but yeah it's a lot of reshaping but it's gonna look pretty and it's gonna be safe too that too <laughs> yeah and it's gonna be pointy in the front I like it Okay, we've cut out the pointy bits and uh, we'll try and glue these together and onto the bow in uh, one go and hopefully that'll work. We will know in an hour after some swearing and, and uh, yeah, messing about. Uh, ah, should work, should be no major issues. We'll, so we'll glue these to together, screw them together and then uh, screw them in place and tape them in place on the bow. Uh, it'll work. It might not look extremely pretty, but it will work. Vilda has got pointy ends. Pointy semi-wave piercing bows that might actually work, but whether they work or not, they look beautiful. Beautiful. Just a little bit more aggressive than original. They're gonna be a little bit out of the water, but yeah. Let's say they're supposed to be. Uh, shaping part. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very tricky to get this done, but it'll be some compound curves going in and out and, and, and uh, very hard to make, even on both sides, but make it look good and it will, will work. And if it look good, it generally works as well.
another day at the boat. And we have probably put all the uh, fairing compounds we need onto, onto the bows. So now we should be able to do the final shaping. <laughs> Try to get the bows to, bows to really match each other. Which will not be the easiest thing in the world, but if it looks right, it is right. Uh, and we'll make it look right. And uh, yeah, if the two bows differ a few millimeters here and there that that will make no difference whatsoever and then yesterday we made panels for the well parts for the steering panel and uh, glass them and then put them here so we'll have a little bit of an unboxing or something and to see what those panels look like, see if we screwed up or not. I think we did well. <laughs> but first we're making coffee and uh, yeah, after that we'll make, build some more boat. We're moving forward, not, not incredibly fast, but are moving forward. And that's a good thing. <laughs> 